And what was the biggest ever bet you had on Denman? And at what price? And how big a thrill was it to win a huge bet on a horse which you owned? Yeah, good question because um, I mentioned in the book when we lumped on him at Bangor at, at massive odds on, but um, which is a funny story, but uh, when when Denman got beat by Nick and all in the Sun Alliance hurdle, I was on the way out of the race course and Barber put his arm around my shoulder and said, don't worry, he said, the way he, he come and jumped that last after he was beaten, he said, he, he's a monster, he said, he, he will come back next year and win the Royal Sun Alliance chase. And with Denman's style of running and what, what we knew of him, even then, that was always going to be the target. And therefore, we, we lumped on the first show was 10 to 1, we took all the 10s and 8s before we ran and then he beat Pembroke in the novice chase. When during that race, that's when we named him the tank when he ploughed through the fourth last. After that we went, stuck him again at six and five and I told everyone to lump on him. But come the, come the race, it, it was a bit more, a lot more pressure than I thought because three weeks, two, three weeks before the race I was doing all the interviews for the press and it was like a monsoon. It was, you know, you even question whether Cheltenham was on, so soft or heavy ground was looking at certainty and I thought Demon had already won. It looked like being four or five runners and it was a shoo-in. And I told everyone it was a it was a mortgage job and of course all of a sudden the weather changed. It was like the hottest eight days in history and we got there and it was good ground. Genuinely good good, you know, even faster than that ground and suddenly we're taking on speedier horses and um I was quoted everywhere was saying he was the biggest certainty of all time. I think he went out to 11 08 on the day. But um, he had that mid race duel with uh, Aces 4, that flying 30 mile Murphy horse. And uh, they were so run they were going so fast in the middle of that race. I thought well, they was, they was really nervous watching that. And um, when he won that day, you know, it was so exciting. The pressure of putting so many people on at women, everyone knew what we were, you know, I was a bit thinking that it was going to be heavy ground, I was more than confident in the press and I certainly felt the pressure on the day and it was a real good buzz when he won.